102.3 KJLH Compton, Los Angeles. So I thought we'd start with something easy. I'm going to throw topics at you guys. We're okay. going to talk about some of these um, issues and then, um, of course, see what you think. Now, did you hear about this guy? You know Farmer Bro. Farmer Bro is uh, this guy, Martin Sheckley, who gets in trouble. Well, he got in trouble for price gouging mm-hmm. on, um, you know, pharmaceutical products that people need. Yesterday, he went to jail because he went on social media saying he would pay $5,000 for anyone who can um, get a hair off the head of Hillary Clinton. Um, I don't know if he was trying to do DNA testing. I'm not sure what he was trying to do, but um, he was already in trouble uh, for just being him for, you know, he's been on trial for this. And he got off on most of the charges for the price gouging situation. Um, is this, you know, he's trying, he says he's just trying to be funny. Is this, you know, an acceptable internet prank or is this like assault, which is basically what the police are saying is that he's advocating assault. Um, what do you think? You know, um, I, I, I just thought it was an excuse to get him into jail. You know, I, I, from the, uh, you know, anyone that, that, that it's awaiting sentencing, you know, I, I, tend to take Kendrick's advice and just be humble, right? And so, Sit down. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> and so if you want to come up and, uh, you know, make a, a a Facebook post like that, you know, you're going to find yourself in some hot water and the, and the judge stuck it to him. Jacqueline, I mean, as an actress, you know, and, and a high-profile person, did, did this resonate differently for you? Like, how would you feel if someone put out a bounty on one of your hairs? Well, it... <laughs> Well, there's only a few left, so (laughs) they're worth a lot now. Um, I feel he's responsible. It's like you see video games or movies and kids think that they're telling the truth. You should do this. You should be like this. And then the kid does something dangerous. The people who created that movie or that video game have become liable. So you are liable. Somebody gets hurt in a hotel. The hotel is liable for the injury. So, yeah, he's liable. He said it. It wasn't a prank. He's just trying to get attention, just like with the Wu-Tang Clan album that he's trying to sell now. Part of the proceeds going to charity right. or medical research, which is, to me, a slap in the face, personally. No, I have to agree with you. Uh, I, I thought it was in bad taste and poor taste. And he's not a comedian to, to, to do something like that, you know? I could expect this something maybe from Bill Maher right. uh, as a joke, but it wasn't. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of people are doing stuff for extra attention, especially with social media. I really think it was a dumb move. But, hey, you you know, you do the crime, you pay the time. He just, he showed who he is. I mean, this is a guy that, 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 that I mean, he was going you know, to be sentenced for price gouging. I mean, we're talking about, what, 5,000 or 5,000 5, percent yeah. uh, markup on life-saving drugs. And so, you know, that type of individual is going to act, you know, in all sorts of ways. And so, you know, when you see him put the Facebook post and it's, and it's you know, in his circles, I'm sure it was humorous, but that's the type of person he is. And so, you know, what, what we're saying is that, that, no, that behavior isn't right. 